I love you and y'all the real ones. I'm not going to try it again because I think it's me with the sucky Paris Wi-Fi. And for that, I apologize. I thought it was all of y'all and it was me. And I apologize. <laughs> I'm not saving this live. This Who's ever on it now? Hi, Dr. Gary. Whoever is on it now, y'all see the real me and we connected for real for life. So let's talk about it. Squid Games. And I, know, I saw y'all mad at me on Twitter because I said, let's talk about Squid Games and I disappeared. Because I had shit to do. And for that, I apologize as well. But what we finna talk about is right now. Think about, oh, there's a butterfly. I love butterflies, guys, for all of you who don't know. Let's talk about it. Now it makes sense why the old man was all smiley during that red light, green light game in the beginning. We thought it was just because he was like, YOLO, I'm already gonna die because of what's in my body and in my brain. But he was like, I just wanted to be a part of the game. That's why he was smiling like that that first episode. Think about it. And then the old man, when he gave the tricks about in the tug of war, about how to lean back and put the, he did that because his ass didn't want to die along with the rest of them. So he was trying to save them all. And think about it. Remember when the old man was also at the top of the, remember when it was the lights out and he's crying at the top, he put the bleachers or whatever you want to call it. And he's talking about you old, he did that because his ass didn't want to get killed in the middle of the night. So he found a way to climb to the top of that bleacher. And that's why the other guy with the black mask said, let's end it now. Think about it. Someone said it's highly overrated and predictable. Not for me. It did. It wasn't predictable for me. I, and I'll tell you what broke my heart. And I was so mad at Ali. Ali, you played yourself, man. But the sad thing is I'm talking to myself because I'm Ali. I'm Ali. I saw a tweet that I have never related to more than that tweet. And I put it on my Twitter too. And it was Ali. He held up the lead. I, I don't know these names except Ali's. I'm sorry. He held up Ali. I mean, Ali held up the lead man in the first game. Then that evil man wants to kill Ali and take give him the rocks instead of having the marbles. But then can we really blame the guy? Because it said they could play any game they want. You just have to get all 20 marbles. And Ali got played. I'm Ali. I'm Ali, guys. Ali got played and died because he was too nice. I'm Ali in Squid Games. And it broke my heart. What was his name? Sang Woo? He played Ali and Ali died. And remember, he was like, Sang Woo told Ali, man, I got a family. And Ali was like, I have a family too. And Ali got played looking around for all the other teams. And Ali got played. And I'm screaming at the screen like, Ali, no. No. But guess who's Ali? Me. So you know what? This show taught me something. Well, I mean, this show taught me to sometimes put yourself first. And then you know what? Sorry, spoilers for anyone who didn't see Squid Game. When Sang Woo sliced the gorgeous girl, what's her name? I loved her. Sliced her neck when she was already dying? Like, what What was the reason? What was the reason? And she stopped the main guy from going to kill him, and he wants to go kill her? What was the reason? He wanted that money so bad, he was willing to just not be a nice person? But was he always not a nice person? How about that? But I'll tell you when I cried. Was it Sabiok? I don't hope I don't say the name wrong. I cried in the marble game when the two girls and they were talking about each other's lives. And she was like, you have something to live for. I don't. And she just let the marble be a little bit at the end of her feet. I boo hoo cried. 
I, that was the death I cried for. Because even though their friendship was like this short, it broke my heart. I was in tears. Yeah, Ashley, I was in tears. Yeah, and then she's like, and go to Jeju Island. And then she was like, and then remember she kept forgetting. She was like, yeah, I can't wait. We can go, we can go there together. And let's talk about one more thing in the Marvel episode. You saw the husband and the wife couple and the husband came out. His number was 69. He came out of that. Excuse me. If I was the wife, I'd be like, you're not letting me die. Because what if I had your child inside of me? I can continue to carry your family name. But yet he, and then he wants to off himself because his wife wasn't there with him anymore. That was his fault. Like, what? That was another thing that said, what the hell is this? Okay, let me think, let me think. Oh, let's talk about it. Do y'all think Squid Game was really wrong? Do y'all think it wasn't right for them to have the Squid Games? Because, may I remind you, they let them go freely away. And 93% of them came right on back. Were they wrong for having Squid Games go on? I don't think so. I don't think so. You want to know why else? They were there with their free will. Right? Exactly. Faison Shamar, whatever your name is, said the moral behind it is actually fair. Remember, they offed the people who were like making like it just not certain people superior to others. And they off them because they were like the people already have it unfair out there. Don't bring that in here. Exactly. And they chose to go. Okay, yes, the first time they didn't know they died. I agree. So that time was wrong because that was misinformation and misled. But 93% of them came back. So was it really wrong? Was it really wrong? Was it really wrong? I don't know. But one more thing I want to talk about. You know, I'm just going to rant about it because I haven't had anybody to rant about Squid Games with except my brother Branson. What was the red hair for at the end? What was the red hair for? The only way I could possibly think why he dyed his hair that red is so he can come back into Squid Games and they not recognize it's him because he looked completely different. Why did he dye his hair red? Is that how you all feel about me and my hair? Maybe so. But if he loved the red hair, then let him keep the red hair. But why did he dye his hair red? And why didn't he go see his daughter? He could have hopped on that plane for a few days and fly the hell back and then go back and get his revenge. Right? He should have. <laughs> he should have. I don't I didn't understand that. Once again, guys, I'm not saving this live. You all are seeing me in a rare form. Another thing I didn't understand. I saw Ryan tweeted today and I felt seen again because it was the same thing my brother and I were asking myself, ourselves. We said, why didn't they take the shoes with them and use it to knock out the actual glass? Why? Why? They could use the marble. These games usually don't have many rules. Why couldn't he use the shoe to knock out the glass? Right? If it was me, where I feel like I would have died in Squid Games... 
lights out, my ass would have been offed. I, uh, uh, that is where I would fall out the line. Oh, and then the cookie cutting. The second he was doing the cookies, I was like, why doesn't he spit on it to loosen it up and give it some moisture? That's when they started showing his sweat falling off his face. I could have done that. I could have done red light, yellow, what it, red light, green light, like that. Now, maybe I'll give some of them the benefit of the doubt. If I saw people getting locked out left and right around me, I'd be screaming too. But my ass ain't running, running where? What were the other games? Oh, tug of war. My ass probably would have walked, would have died on that one. My upper body strength is not very good. Then I wonder what else. What's the other game? Okay, we have that game. We have that game. What's another? What were the other games I'm missing after tug of war? What was after tug of war? I think I'm missing another game. I don't know. Yeah, the glass glass episodes. I would have that would have scared me, but I would have been gone after lights out. Oh yeah, Squid Game at the end. Let's talk about it. This is the last thing. Then I'm gonna go to bed. Oh yeah, the marbles games. We talked about the marbles game. So the last Squid Game, when it had all the men in the crazy mask, right? And they were watching, right? I did the squid game. I still didn't understand at the end. But it was just hurting my heart seeing them fight like that. Right? And then after he finally got his friend down, he said, I'm done. Let's walk away from the game. Let's walk away from the game. I was like, yeah, that. let's walk away. But I'm thinking to myself, and he said that, I'm like, you can't. Do all of this, all these people sacrifice themselves, and you about to give up the game, and no one's gonna get the money. So yeah, Quasi, I I gave a disclaimer in the beginning. It's a spoiler alert because I just I told everyone who hasn't watched Squid Game to log off because I just wanted to rant about it. And then he did that. He said he offed himself in the end, anyways. You don't know why he did that? Because he knew his friend's heart. He was like, I told this man to take care of my mom. And if none of us get the money, then none of us are going to get taken care of. So he did what he had to do. But that broke my heart. And then another thing broke my heart, the brother storyline. Let's talk about it. The main guy with the black mask. He, his brother, he shoots his own brother. That was where his brother went all along. But this is a question I had. He just now realized his brother's been missing and he's been a cop for all these years. Why just now he noticed his brother's been missing? He said his brother won the game in like five years ago. Why is he just now searching for his brother? Right? I was confused with that. And I saw a tweet that said, Oh, yeah, that's true. I don't think his brother is dead. Maybe so, because they didn't show him die. He probably just shot him in the shoulder. I'm sorry, Missy Bat. I'm sorry. I told everyone it was a spoiler. I'm sorry. Oh, someone just said the guy with the black mask, he's a cop after all. That's another way to think about it. <sighs> this show, show, man. Maybe I'll go on live again if other things pop into my head. But I was like, oh, yeah. Someone said, what was the point of the organ shipping? Yeah, what was that about? That storyline we could have left alone. But I did like when the guy, I think it was to really show that they don't want to have anyone superior in there and anybody that's not being fair. So I think that was the premise of that storyline. You know what I mean? And, but, ugh. so let's talk about the, let's go back to the old man. Hey, Cortland. Yeah, this is Paris jet lag because it is 2.43 a.m. And here I am rambling. The old man, so he created Squid Games all along? 
Ryan, I love you and I miss you. He created Squid Game the whole time. And he just wanted to play. Now, what confused me was when they were finally betting on the sweet guy outside in the snow. And they were like, is anyone going to help him? I didn't get what they were betting on. That part I didn't get. But I love the dialogue they had. But I might watch that scene again just because. But all I know is he's about to get revenge in season two. He's about to get revenge in season two. But my thing is, how's he going to do that? Because they're going to know it's him because they scan. Remember, they put that thing on them and they scan it and they know who it is. And don't you think his daughter is going to grow up resenting him because she sees him punching her stepdad who takes care of her? She, he just walked out the house like he was he was doing a great job as a father. I know he couldn't afford a lot, but he was doing great up until the part where he just walked out. And then she was still trying to follow him with the umbrella and he knocks out the stepdad. <laughs> right? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's true, Missy. Bet more money, more problems. Even when you're trying to get to the money, that's true. Yeah, this it felt like a better Hunger Games to me. Okay, someone said, what is this show? It is Squid Games on Netflix. Stop what you're doing and watch it right now. But log off of this live because I don't want you to hear any more spoilers. Log off of it right now. I told everyone to log off if you haven't seen Squid Games. <gasps> oh, yeah, that is what I thought. Okay, gd.g underscore said, it's a lot of hints that the old man is the actual father of the guy with the red hair. Now that I did think about, because remember, 001, the old man, he was talking about, oh, yeah, my son would do this for me or I would slap my son or something, blah, blah, blah. Sorry. <laughs> my God, mom said, guess I won't watch it anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil it. <laughs> 001, yeah, he kept referencing. Yeah, he kept saying it's his son's birthday. Blah. You're right. What if that was his son? What if that was his son? I did think about that. Oh, mm -mm. oh yeah, Forever Showtime said all the games were on the wall the whole time. Now, let's clarify this. My throat's getting dry. I'm talking so much. I didn't notice the games on the wall until they kept progressing. I thought it was blank walls from the beginning. And then as each episode progressed, each game happened. It was painted on the wall. Am I tripping? Shari Spam said, I think the old man wanted him to run the game. <gasps> what if he's going to run the game? Oh, someone said it was the beds hid them. The paintings were on the walls. Oh, wow. Oh, and can we talk about, she was honestly one of my favorite characters as well. The funny lady who kept calling that other guy babe. Remember that? Remember that? She, let's talk about her. Remember no one picked her to be a partner? And she just got to chill. And you know what I loved about that episode? Because they were showing they don't leave anyone out. They don't make anyone feel bad. So because everyone were like, oh, we're not picking you, blah, blah, blah. They were like, you don't have to play this game. And her ex-man came back confused. Honestly, I had a love-hate relationship with her. Because she killed the villain man, remember? Because she was like, I told you that you weren't going to live without me. And she did it in the most poetically beautiful way. Okay, guys, any more questions? Because my throat's getting dry. And I'm getting a little tired. I've been on here for an hour. Have I been on here for an hour? This is what happens when I'm jet lagged. I'm not saving this life, guys. You are seeing me in a rare form. Okay. 
Um, have you all been listening to Have Mercy? I hope so. Someone said Ollie is alive. I don't know. I don't think the the cop is dead. Anyways, guys, I'm going to be performing on Fallon on the 12th. They got announced today. I'm going to be performing Why keep bouncing like I do? 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 All this is up in my jeans. You can't get up in me. Dream. You're trying to get a piece of me. I can think of a couple things like how to serve a man, how to work a man. It's all... <sighs> all right. I love you guys. Thank you for talking about Squid Games with me and being a real one and loving me and just being so nice to me. And, uh, yeah. I love you guys. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Good night, good night. Farewell to you, my friend. Body language like speaking Spanish. I like to teach you how to do this shit. Temporary, that's never very unnecessary. Yeah, I am that bitch. You can't get this thickness out of your mind. Okay, and you all do this in one breath. Okay, a lot of say. He say he like that laffy taffy. He so goofy, call me daddy. He go through it, he go daffy. Introduce me to it, peppy. He can never live without me. I'm so real, I never capping. If he got it like that, like that, I could take it, take it there. Cause my one breath, do it in one breath. You know, it reminds me of in one breath. I ain't never had nobody show me all the things that you don't show me in the special way I'm feeling when and only we gon' always be together, baby, that is what you told me and I believe it. I ain't never had nobody do it like you. Oh. <laughs> all right. Love you guys. Peace out. Hey, Tana, if you can do it in one breath, comment in my latest Instagram post or tweet me. And keep practicing and streaming until you know how to. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>